Hi, welcome to this screencast, Glassfish a la carte. What I'm doing here in this demo is installing Glassfish from an IPS bootstrap toolkit. IPS is the packaging system used by OpenSolaris and by Glassfish. Uh, this is worth about 5 megs of downloads of bootstrap code. Uh, I'm calling this Glassfish a la carte and I will start adding modules from this bootstrap code. Um, I only have a few files installed on disk and I only have a few modules which you can see here which are the base IPS packages. Uh, what I'll do at this point is actually refresh and make sure I'm in sync with the repository and look at the repository which is called the publisher in IPS vocabulary uh, which I got these from and I will actually uh, define a new publisher, a new repository which I will make the preferred one enable it and give it a uh, location which is an HTTP address and this address actually points to the development repository of uh, Glassfish v3 uh, so v3 slash dev and I'll give it a name and once that's done just make sure this has been um, validated as the preferred one at this point I can now list repositories uh, list packages uh, from those repositories and see all that are uh, remotely available to be installed. Um, I'm interested in the package called Glassfish Nucleus. Um, I can fetch the info and install that and of course install all the dependencies. Uh, and now I can see that a couple more packages have been installed. Nucleus, HK2 and Grizzly and Felix which is the OSGI implementation. But I can also see there is no domain created. Um, so what I need to do is to actually add an additional package. Uh, what I'm doing here is actually uh, adding update tool, which is the graphical equivalent to PKG, which I've been using so far, just to, so, to show you could do this also in a graphical ma matter. So I'm launching the update tool, which is a way for you to uh, see what's been installed, uh, the updates available, and what you have uh, as available add-ons. I'm changing the name here of the uh, image. Um, I'm also looking at all the packages that have been installed. This is the equivalent of the command line pkg list command. Uh, there are actually a bunch of updates which are updates to uh, the bootstrap itself because I didn't start from the most recent one. Uh, and there are certainly uh, quite a few add-ons since I started from a, such, a, such a small bootstrap. Um, I'll actually scroll down and pick up the Glassfish management uh, package, which is the one that will allow me to create a domain. So install this one, which has a dependency on the commons package. Install both after accepting the license. And that's it. I have installed my package. So at this point, I can go back to command line and make sure I indeed don't have any domain and oh, list domains and actually create one so is admin create domain the admin port 4848 the instance port will be the default instance port the default um, 8080 and give it a name I'll call it my domain and accept the default username uh, so that's it. And now I can list the domain. See, there's my domain that's not running. And I can start that domain. So it's admin start dash domain. So as you can see, it was fairly easy to uh, install the base Glassfish Nucleus. Uh, and now I have a domain running. And if I open the browser, I can see that it's serving static pages. If I open port 4848, which is the admin, uh, I can see that the admin console has not been installed actually, but it could be installed dynamically at this point. So this is the end of part one of the demo. In part two, I'll actually install some containers and make use of Glassfish by deploying applications.